Now I know I don't need another laser, but I finally got my hands on the brand new We Create Vista. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm your girl Katrina and I literally opened up my door the other day and I had a package. We Create sent me over their brand new 10 watt laser engraver, the brand new We Create Vista. I had no idea I was gonna get it, so I'm gonna unbox it with you and as always, I'm gonna give you my honest review. I was not paid to do this video, so you're gonna get my full honest review. So if you've been looking for a laser engraver, a more budget friendly option, this might be the engraver for you. Let's check out the brand new We Create Vista together. Okay, this automatically says right here the laser bed is inside. So I'm going to be very careful taking it out. I'm going to lift the foam up. Oh, yeah, okay. Feel it. Nothing that will get cut or get um, damaged with the razor blade. There you go. So I'm gonna remove this. This is in here. And voila! There is the beauty. Okay, we got some plywood right here. This says for camera calibration only, so I'll see if I can use this, but that's what it says for camera calibration only. Right away, it looks automatically just like the We Create Vision, but of course, this one is smaller. So let's go ahead and get it out the box and up on the table without breaking my back. Here, yeah, this is the bottom tray. I'm jumping right into the video. I'm gonna go ahead, open it up. I'm hoping that this is gonna be much quicker than the We Create Vision. Rip me out the plastic, I be acting brand new. I'm gonna go ahead, walk you through the entire setup process really quick. I'm gonna cut it short because, you know, once you've seen one video, you've pretty much seen them all. But I know this one is brand new, it just released. So I'm gonna go through using the startup guide and let you know all the specs and features. First things first, it says to remove the transport guide pins. There's two on each side. So you wanna pull those out. I guess that keeps everything locked in nice and tight and safe for travel. There should be like a little piece on the side for you to peel off to make it much easier. My nails are not done, y'all. I know y'all probably say this girl nails is not done more than they are done. <laughs> All right, let's peel it. guys see on the inside before I do comes with the power adapter rotary kit exhaust holes of course you have some samples you can see the engravings to let you know that they tested it and it's been used these boxes are nice and tight nice and snug and of course you have your air assist. And of course you have all your cables and your tool bag. Gonna loosen the foam, remove that. And there's one more inside. This comes with a 10 watt laser, but you can get the two watt one. It has all of these instructions and guides right here in the back, so I really love that. There's some tabs back there. I know from having the actual We Create Vision that this is the bottom tray. Slides right in there. That's to catch all of the debris. So I'm just gonna put that right there. And I'm gonna unbox everything and get everything set up. There's one more foam at the top. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that very carefully. And this is what the entire We Create Vista looks like. So I'm just gonna scan the barcode down here for the complete setup instructions. So right here, it has a beginner's guide. So it's really easy and simple to follow. So I'm not going to do it on screen because once you get the machine, all you do is just follow the steps. And I'll be right back after I get it set up. 
So here's the holes, all of the tools, cables, and air assist that comes with it. And of course, I got the one with the rotary kit, but I'll be setting that up in the next video. So I'm going to go ahead and set everything up now. And this is what it looks like once you place the laser beds inside. I love that this one came with these silicone plugs that you can plug into the machine on both sides to prevent smoke from escaping. On the other one, I can definitely still smell the fumes while I'm working because the smoke can get through. So we're going to see how well this one does. So I love this added benefit. So I'm just going to plug up these holes. And then once I start my engraving, I'll let you know how well this feature works. Just like that. And I'm going to do the same thing on both sides. So I have my We Create Vista all set up, but I need to add now the smoke purifier, which I already have. So this is the We Create Vision. This is the one that they came out with first, and I have it sitting on the pass through feature, which I will be showing in another video. This one, I have the smoke purifier attached to it. So I'm going to take the hose off and I'm going to attach it to the Vista. So that way I'll have a smoke purifier with it. So this is really easy and simple to carry around, to move around if you do have both machines. And the smoke purifier is sold separately. So this one came with the Vista. This one came with the smoke purifier. I'm just going to put it inside like I did with the Vision. And then I'm going to wrap the clamp around it and secure it so that way no air gets up. So now all I'm doing is securing this middle clamp that I put on here in the middle to hold these two hoses together. Make sure it's nice and tight so it doesn't come apart. And just like that, I have secured my hoses. All hoses and cords are plugged in. I'm gonna go ahead and lift that on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the We Create machine right here in the front. Lights come on. Laser head moves over. Sorry about the lights in my ceiling. That's the reflection that you're seeing. You're getting closer. It's right over there. And I have the WeCreate software open. So I'm gonna pull in a file and we're going to engrave on a project. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. So with the WeCreate Vista, your working area is going to be 16.34 by 11.42. So that's gonna be your working space. So about an A3 paper size, and you want to make sure that your material is no thicker than 1.57 inches. And of course, you have a working space as high as 6.5 inches. It does come with risers, but I won't be using the risers for today. But you can elevate it, lift it up, and that way it'll give you a much bigger working space. And the WeCreate Vista comes with a high definition camera that's located right at the top. So once I close the lid, it's going to take a snapshot, send the image directly to the WeCreate Make It software. That way it'll make for more precise engraving and cutting. Okay, so I have the WeCreate Make It software open. I'm going to click on New Project. It's really simple and straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and open up a file. So I'm just going to click Import. So I'm going to do this first um, sign. Right now this measures about 8.2 by 10.32. So I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to put it in 90 degrees just like that. And now I'm going to enlarge it just a little bit more. So I have about 9 by 12. So there's this placing block that they give you a guide. Just going to place it right over in the bottom left hand corner just like that. And now you want to take the material and you're going to place it make sure it's aligned all the way to the bottom left hand corner. So whenever you get ready to engrave or laser you want to make sure you always have it placed bottom left hand corner. That's going to be your guide for placement. So over on the right hand corner you want to set up how you want to start engraving. So just to show you at the top right hand corner you're going to select the drop down. Your choices are laser flat, laser cylindrical, or auto pass through. So I'm going to of course do the laser flat for my first material and I'm going to refresh. Okay, As you can see I have the image right there and now I'm going to go ahead and close the lid and now I'm going to select my material. I'm just going to select birch plywood. I'm going to just go ahead and select three millimeters because I don't believe this is five millimeters. So I'm going to go ahead, click confirm. I'm going to click auto measure. As you can see, it lets you know which one you're using. I'm using my 10 watt blue laser. So once I click on my design right there in the blue highlights, 
You can decide if you want to line engrave. That's what it will look like. You can fill engrave if I wanted to fill this in or you could cut it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. I want it cut out to the shape so that way I can hang it on my wall or mount it somewhere in my kitchen. I'm at 100% full power and the speed is right now on a one. So we're gonna take the speed up. We're just gonna put it at nine and we're gonna see how that does. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click cut. So notice in the bottom right hand corner, it gave me an estimated time of about 10 minutes and I said, oh no, let's try to take the speed up. But that wasn't a good idea. So keep watching and see what happens when I took the speed up. Let's bring the speed up to 11. And now we're gonna go ahead and click start. It's letting me know, warning, do not leave the equipment during processing to prevent fire. And I'm gonna hit start right here. And I have my smoke purifier running as well. And this is my air assist right over here. It's connected, it's working out. So that way it's gonna create less burning. Everything is operating beautifully. Let's see how it comes out. It says it's going to take about nine minutes. So just a few key features while it's cutting so that way you can also hear the noise while it's working. So We Create has thought of everything. It has some key safety features which I love and can appreciate. It's FDA class one with fire retardant. It has an auto stop feature for safety measures. If I were to lift this right now, which I am just for demo purposes, so as you see, it automatically stopped. The laser head is not moving. If I close it, it will continue. That's so nothing can happen while the lid is open. So it is not gonna go if the lid is open. So now if I wanna continue the processing, I have to hit the start button again, and now the laser head is moving again. It also has the screen with the blue light filter to protect my eyes, so that way I don't have to worry about wearing any bulky, ugly goggles. So it's definitely safe for the eyes. It's definitely safe to use inside, indoors, as you can see. Although I'm in my garage, I'm still in my home and this is my workspace. So it is completely safe to use without any eye protection. And the software does let you know that please do not leave it unattended because if anything does happen, you'll be able to see it right away. But it will auto stop. It does have fire retardant. It does have all these safety features. And again, no goggles needed. It has a blue light filter. Checking on the progress. And we are done. So the fan will stop, of course, once you lift it up. Let's take it out to see the first cut. I'm hoping up, up. That did not cut through. So I had to end up um, cutting this or trying to cut this three times, but I didn't realize at the time that because I'm using a 10 watt laser, I could not take my speed up. I'm used to taking the speed up on the Vision, but on the Vista, if you're doing a three millimeter plywood, the speed does have to lower. So it took me three attempts and calling customer service to figure out, Trina, take your speed down. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because just in case if you try to take your speed up, it's not going to to cut through on the first pass. So this is my second attempt. I'm doing it right over the first one because again, I have it lined up perfectly in the bottom left hand corner and I went ahead and I cut out my lights in my garage so that way I can try to eliminate some of the overhead light reflections. So I cut my lights off so you guys can get a much better view without the ceiling lights and I opened my garage for more ventilation. As you can see, my garage is open. That's why I have a screen right there. Fan automatically stops. Yeah, I don't know. I'm nervous. All right, this is not cutting. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's definitely not cutting. I can feel it almost going through. You can see that, almost went through. So I must have the material wrong. I definitely don't want to pop this out because this is not, um, not easy enough to pop out. 
So after three attempts, it still did not work. So I said, maybe it's the board because it did have a label on it that said for recalibration only. So I don't know if that was what it was, but I went ahead and I switched it to another piece of plywood. This time I'm using a colored piece. Let's see if this works. I'm gonna see if this works. So I'm using the black plywood. I have it on my cut settings with, this says a thickness of 3.23. And then I have it at 100% power at a speed of 13. And now hit the start button. All right, I switched the board. Can you tell if it's cutting right here or does it look like it's just engraving? Okay, let's pray that this one worked out, but I can tell already it didn't cut through. I can tell already it didn't cut through. I don't know what is going on. It didn't even touch the back. So I know you guys are probably saying, I'm not doing a good job doing the first review and demo showing this product off, but I promise you it was me. I'm showing you this for a reason because I'm showing you guys that things do happen and... Other people are not going to show you this, but it was me. I finally got so frustrated and I called customer service. Do y'all see the smoke is smoking? Yes. But because I got that plug in on the side, it's not coming out of the machine. Love that feature. But again, I called customer service and they told me that I had to take the speed down. I was trying to do it too fast so it wasn't cutting all the way through. So finally, after I took my speed down, I got it to work. It's finally working. I was so happy. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's check it out. I'm hoping that everything cut out. All right, so I'm gonna take it out so you can see some of it. I am gonna have to just push through lightly, but this one definitely cut out. So I called customer service and they told me that I had to um, take the speed down. So because it's a 10 watt laser, I had to go slower. And because I'm using the three millimeter plywood, I needed to go at a speed of three. I know, really slow, but it got the job done. There are some little small pieces, but everything looks like it cut perfect. So I realized with the 10 watt laser, it does need a little bit more time for that laser head to pass over all the material so that way it can cut all the way through. So I'm just taking my X-Acto knife and I'm just scoring along the edges just to make sure it pushes all the way out. Okay, you wanna make sure everything comes out smooth just like that. Punch out those last pieces and look at that. Now I know I did the black one, but that's just the color I use. So I'll, of course, once I clean it off, it'll look even better so I have my little fork knife and spoon that's the first thing that I cut out okay let's go on to the next project next I'm gonna make something with an acrylic piece I got this from Hobby Lobby of course it's $3.99 wasn't on sale this week you can get it much cheaper if you catch the 40% off sale make sure you remove the plastic film to protect the film unless it is laser um, laser ready unless you have the film on it that is for laser nice red piece they come in different colors this is like an 8 by 11 size again 399 they have the clear so you can engrave on the clear with the diode 10 watt layers but you cannot cut you can cut the colored ones but make sure it's opaque but you cannot cut on the clear you can only engrave so now we're gonna go ahead and cut through the red acrylic material. Let's check out the acrylic piece. See how that cut. It did not go through. Did not go through at all. So I'm going to do it again. Gonna do it again. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if it cut out. This is the acrylic. I can see it on the front and the back. So, oops. <laughs> All right, it's popping out. I wanna be very careful. This was two passes, mind you. Two passes at a speed of three. Okay, let's cut. Oops, and I just scratched it. You have to be really careful with acrylic not to scratch it. You guys let me know if you do 
any other methods? I think it's safe to say I was jacking all these projects up. Um, this was really an intricate design. And then I realized I had the film on the back. So I'm not sure if that was why I didn't cut all the way through. But of course, I had to put it back in the machine and do it a third time. Three times is a charm. This one came right out, right out. Three passes it took. It took three passes. Let's see if we can pop out the middle. Got to be careful around the letters. That's what I'm really concerned about. This part is coming out. Yeah, some of these pieces are really, really tiny. This is a bookmark, just in case. And I didn't want it to do it in wood. I wanted to test out the acrylic. So this is the bookmark in acrylic. Second project is complete. This is a really nice bookmark. Got the file from Creative Fabrica. So never had an acrylic bookmark, but I definitely wanted to make it. You can slide your page and stuff in right here. It says best mom. So really like this. Let me know what you guys think. If you like this file, I'll have it linked down below in the description box. Next, I got these little leather coasters. You can do so many different materials with this machine. So I decided to test out and make some leather coasters. So I got this from Hobby Lobby as well. So I've cut the wood, I've cut the acrylic. Now we're gonna do an engraving and see how it turns out. I'm gonna import, there we go. It's gonna be much larger, so you're gonna have to scale it down. I'm gonna select everything, make sure I select everything. So now I'm gonna minimize it to fit down into the coaster. Gotta move everything together, otherwise it'll break apart. It is an SVG, so it is in parts. So this graphic says, I like big cups and I cannot lie. I thought that was so cute. And again, I got this from Creative Fabrica. So this time around, I'm selecting fill engrave because I definitely wanted to engrave on everything just like the image. And the speed is going to be at 305 millimeters per second or whatever that was. But that was what it was on. So I left it as is. And of course, it's at 100% power. I'm just going to go ahead and click start. My last and final project for the night, and this one just might be my fave, hands down. It's an engraved leather coaster. Look at that. Came out really nice. Let me let you get an up close look. All right, here's an up close look at the leather coaster. I really like the way it came out and I love the sand. I like big cups and I cannot lie. I thought this was really cute. Again, I got this SVG right off of Creative Fabrica and I'll have it linked down below. But I really like the way this came out and it was pretty fast. It was actually faster than I thought or I, I expected. There's no smudging, no smudging, no burning. I really like the way that came out. Y'all let me know what you think. So I just wanted to test one out and it came out really nice. So a nice, you know, three millimeter leather coaster that you can get from Hobby Lobby. And you can package these up, sell them, give them away as gifts, or of course, use them for your own self around the house. So I also wanted to mention because I have the two watt infrared laser for the vision but this is the vista they have one as well for the vista that you can switch out and change and it's a much easier and simpler process on the vista than it is for the vision so you can switch out the laser head and i will show you how easy it is once i get the two watt for the vista but this is a special laser head because it has a flip feature which allows you to flip it so that way you can engrave on your tumblers. So this is another reason why the Vista is so special because it's so compact, but you don't have to use the risers for all of your projects because this will lay down flat and you can engrave your tumblers laying down. Let me show you what I mean. Let me show you what I mean. So first things first, you wanna make sure you cut the power off. You wanna cut the power off. And now I can slide this laser head up this way to me. You can even move it over. And there's some thumb screws right here. You just want to take the thumb screws out. It's really simple and easy. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. 
and automatically it's going to flip. Now the fans are pointed this way. I'm not going to lock it back in place. And all you do is slide it this way. The, the rotary attachment that you would get or that comes with your bundle, if that's the one you purchase, you'll just sit it right over here and you'll engrave your tumblers this way. And the laser head is now pointing this way at your tumbler. So that's what I mean by laying flat. The laser head now lays flat. Such a cool feature. Such a cool feature. Let me just give you a up close look. If you guys can see that, might be upside down. The laser head is now pointed that way. So just so you can see underneath there, I'm holding it in place because I'm not gonna, you know, do it in place. There's just a few other things that you would need to do. But once you loosen these thumb screws, it automatically flips over. So now all I'm gonna do is just flip it back and I'm going to lock it back in place. Make sure it's nice, tight, and secure. And that's it. So these are all of the projects we did today. Had some difficulties with this one, but once I called customer service, I finally got it figured out. I had my speed too high. I was trying to, you know, breeze through it. All right, but it is a 10 watt laser. So compared to, you know, 20 or your 40 watt laser, if you have any higher ones, it is gonna go a little bit slower. So I did the cutout with the plywood. I did the cutout with the acrylic. This one took three passes really like the bookmark and then of course my favorite was engraving on the leather coaster and because this one was smaller of course it went a lot faster so overall I just want to point out that the we create Vista was sent to me full disclosure it was sent to me to test and review to try out to of course preview and demo for you all so even though it's a more budget friendly option compared to the vision it is going to be a lot slower a lot slower but you get everything that you need in one you got your rotary attachment you got your air assist it can do pretty much everything it's just gonna take a little bit longer depending on the project depending upon what material you're cutting but as you saw this was really fast that was really fast but I did notice with the acrylic and even with the plywood it just definitely took you know a few passes to get it all the way through so just keep in mind that it is a 10 watt laser want to be completely transparent but as far as ease of use beginner friendly straight out the box it was really really easy but as far as ease of use as far as you know if you've never lasered before if you are a beginner it is really easy friendly the setup was so easy it only took took literally minutes and I kid you not that's why I didn't even show it because it was so fast and so simple of course you do want to consider getting a smoke purifier to eliminate some of the fumes you will have some smells just know that but the fumes are not out in the house so that's why I opened my garage so overall I do love it you can get it in white or the sapphire blue um, there is a special discount going on right now like an early bird special or something so the link will be down below in the description box but if you are I'm just gonna say if you are looking for something that's going to knock out projects a lot faster this might not be the machine for you all right just want to let you know they do have a much faster one they have a 20 watt vision and then they have the 40 watt vision so you might want to look at those I'll have those linked down below as well as some of my previous um, videos for that machine but this is a great starter machine a great compact machine for anyone who is just getting in to laser engraving so definitely check it out I hope you enjoyed today's video the link will be down below in the description box and as always on your way out don't forget to like and subscribe smash that thumbs up button so that way this video gets pushed out to other people and thank you so much we create for sending this over to me to test and review a lot more projects coming up in the near future i'll see you guys in the next one see you later love you bye